Hello guys, um, today we're going to do it hands, 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 and finger, 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 fingers. And today we are going to have a whole animation process on the hands that we did earlier on in the previous project. Don't forget the octagon rule that I mentioned in the earlier project, whereas we had about eight different styles um, that you need to take note of. You know, guys. You need to ask yourself as an animator are you going to animate uh, a cartoony kind of hands like mickey mouse or you're going to do it a bit realistic so if you're going to answer that right then you'll be able to know some of the shapes you need to take note of because you know when it's a more stylized hand you know you have it more boxy and whatever shape you want to do you know the cartoon mickey mouse style is more um, if i can put it more 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 brownish and all that you know how mickey mouse and all that looks like so i'll take you through some of these things okay so you don't need to worry yeah just enjoy the process guys let's go okay guys so i think we are going to start uh, right now we have our um regular animation software open that's a tv paint um yeah let's have some fun shall we have some fun let's take it easy but just to have a recap um this is the the previous things we did the last time yeah so okay so we have the eight size rule that's the octagon rule yeah so we have the okay let me put the name there so we start with the octagon rule okay so uh, we have one two three yeah four five six seven eight so this is our hand generally this this is just the hands okay so we're going to fill in fill it in so we have the thumb okay we have the thumb don't forget one two three and four okay so let's just make it simple just for you to just a recap so that you remember i'm sure you remember now okay so this is our hand yeah simple okay let's try another one uh, we have one two three four five six seven eight okay so with this we're going to just do it indoors so we have the thumb okay we have the thumb showing like that okay and this time because it's going to and have it just coiling in This is a simple way to get that across. So you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So eight, one, two, three. I think our brush size is too big. Let me just reduce it a bit. Uh, okay. Uh, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Yeah? So you see what we just had right now, okay? So with this, let's see, um, let's start the animation process, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, so I just wanna um, reduce this and then uh, we can draw over it, create a new layer. We create a new layer, we draw over it, okay? It's advisable to lock the layers when you're not using them, okay? So let's start with this particular hand and see how we can admit this so let's assume that we want to make it wave okay and um, so we have it like that okay right now it's, it's gonna be a bit loose i mean after that we can do a tidying up 
but this just to focus on the, gest the gestures here yeah? put this off and maybe just shift it a bit to the middle okay. so let's draw the next thing and don't forget to put on your onion skin if you want to keep it up um, so we have uh, this go to the next okay you can put on your onion skin just to get things straight up Um, I will advise that before you do the hand, let's say you want to wave the hands. Before you do that, you always it will be it will be more helpful for you if you get a guide as to where exactly you want the hands to move to, so that with that you are well guided. Okay, so create a new layer, call it guide. Okay, and then we'll do we we'll use it we'll do the guide we we'll use it to guide us on the way. So let's say on the first frame. Um, let's reduce this on the first frame. We're going to have let's use a palm inside the palm here, okay? So we'll have it like this, and then the, le the next one, you know, everything mostly has to be in curves for it to have its fluid, you know. So this is like our guide, yeah. Uh, don't forget to um, hold the guy so that it's always going to give you a return. Yeah, this uh, we're going to, it's very important you know exactly what gesture you want to uh, do. So, let's say this is a wave gesture with the hands. So, wave, we are waving the hands, and it's a wave gesture. So, we've got the next thing. So you have to ask yourself this. Yes, this is another thing you need to ask. Where is the pivot? You have to take note of the pivot. This is one joint where you can wave the hand from. This is another joint. This is another joint here. You have ball joints. But we are not going to go too much into detail like we are doing a real, very over realistic animation. We're going to keep it really simple. Always try and keep it simple, okay, to help you. Until you have a big budget project, you have all the time and money to actually make it up. Time actually to make it up. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, so we go to the next thing. Okay, let's say let's go to the stream. So we have it maybe moving like this. So let's assume it comes like that. Okay. So let's go to this place. So, so simply put, we have it him waving to the left and then waving to the right. Okay. Okay. So these are the key key poses that we are trying to work on right now. Okay. So we come here. So we have um, one. Uh, we have this. Let's input some exposures to it. Let's give it uh, two and two. So plus one. Let's it's too fast. Let's do this. Let's do running effect. Okay, so you see what's going on. Um, we are actually animated visually. <laughs> but uh, this is not how, this is quite very robotic, okay? Let's just remove that. Okay. And just do a one. One here. This uh, one technique to do if uh, you want to actually have it, you want to cheat that <laughs> uh, in a way. This like uh, what we call the smear. So sometimes um, it depends on that, what you have to do. I mean, I want us to have fun. Okay, let's let's have fun. 
I'm sorry, I'll go. Uh, we are learning, okay? <laughs> we are learning, that's the whole thing. So watch, let's see what happens when we do that, when we run this sandwich, okay? Let's run it on threes, okay? Very fast. Oh man, what's going on? So that's like uh, a cheat. This, you can use this technique when the character is way, very far, it's way far, like further away from the camera. You can do this to smear and create that illusion of uh, a way, but just with very few, <laughs> very few um, drawings, okay? So you can see, I mean, if you make it, if you reduce it, the exposure by one, and that's picking on two. It's gonna be really fast, but you you will get the drift. You get, realize that that's a wave that literally wants to be uh, uh, animated. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first uh, thing, just to one of the tricks in animating the hands. All right, guys, uh, this is a wrap. Uh, thanks for checking this tutorial out. Uh, don't forget that if you haven't watched the previous video up there, which is about illustrating um, hands for animation, kindly check the link up there, and then you can uh, get the full picture before you actually start this particular one, or else, I mean, you may not get the, uh, the tutorial right, okay? Um, and uh, kindly um, like and then share so that we can uh, push this video out there. And anyone that's new to this channel, uh, kindly subscribe. I really appreciate you. Um, and then, uh, bye for now, all right? Uh, thanks for tuning in. And this is your regular animator, Seller Mix.